highlight the severe weather risk that comes with that ahead of a hotter and drier week next week. All right, Nick, thank you so much. The recent Medicaid disenrollment resulted in the loss of health insurance for hundreds of thousands of Central Texans, many of whom are children. St. David's Foundation, though, has found a way to tackle that problem and so much more. It has up to $18 million in grant funding to support organizations that really foster healthier communities, as well as increase access to health care in our community. Joining us this afternoon is Ed Berger from the St. David's Foundation. You are the president and the CEO. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Okay, so you have two different buckets. Let's start with the first one, and that is the community driven change bucket that you have that open call for. How does that work? Sure. So first of all, what open call means is that any nonprofit organization that's eligible can apply. And this particular open call is up to $10 million of funding for the entire call. Mm. And it would work with and support organizations that are engaging community, community leaders and individuals in the community to look for health and wellness solutions for that community. Very localized approach. Mm, okay, and then the second one, we all benefit. How does that one work? Well, that's what you were just talking about, uh -huh. which is uh, responding to the, the Medicaid disenrollment. Yeah. And so this is to support organizations and collaboratives, so different organizations can come together and apply for up to $8 million. We're going to put out uh, up to that amount to all the, all the organizations in this open call to support organizations that are looking to enroll individuals into uh, health insurance uh, coverage. And so that could include Medicaid, mm. it could include CHIP, which is the Children's uh, Health Insurance uh, Program, or it could be just uh, getting into ACA, the Affordable Care Act. Uh, the disenrollment has really been a game changer and we're trying to untangle some of that mm. with this money. Okay, and then also this really seems to align with your strategic plan that plan the pathways to health equity. How does this align with that? Well, so that's our brand new strategic plan yeah. and it aligns in that we have three externally facing goals. Uh, one is access to care, which is what we're talking about. Uh, one is um, uh, economic stability and one is uh, community driven change, which is the other one we're talking about. So these first initial testing and iterating phases of our strategic plan really are focusing on the, the first and the third goal of our externally facing goals. So it's right in line. Yeah, and we know that many of these organizations, maybe they've lost funding, they are in desperate need of funding. Is this really what prompted you all to make sure that you seek out various organizations through the lens of equity too, to help them? Absolutely, so traditionally St. David's Foundation has been one where it's been invitation okay. uh, only, so you are asked to apply. And this is our foray into opening it up and being very equitable. So organizations of, of all size and all shape and all locations mm. serving all populations, if appropriate, can apply. And, it's, and we tried to simplify the, the process so it's not that complicated to actually apply. It's not arduous. In fact, I can give you some breaking news. Yes. We just announced this this morning, we already have one letter of interest already. Really? That's how straightforward it is yeah. to, to apply, show okay. interest. Well, walk us through the process and then how people can apply for, for these open calls. Sure, th there's two phases. There's an initial phase of where we ask for a letter of interest. And so you would see which of these two open calls would be appropriate and provide a brief narrative about the organization and about the work and about kind of past work that you've done. Uh, and then send that in, that's it. And then uh, we will vet all of those and then decide on which ones will make it to kind of the next phase where we ask for a little bit more information and get a sense of what that work might look like. Then we'll make decisions uh, at, toward the end of the year and in, in the fall. Okay, you answered my next question about oh. the timeline. Well, the timeline, yeah. so for the letter of interest, mm -hmm. that, that is due uh, on June 28th or before. Some people already submitted them today. <laughs> uh, and so you have until June 28th and then if you, uh, organizations make it to the next phase, then I forgot what the deadline is, but I'm going to we'll get something in the summer. Website. Yeah, exactly. yeah, please do. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Ed Berger from St. David's Foundation. Thank you so much for being with us and the work that you all are doing in the community. Thank you. Coming up now.